This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give a what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 662 days. We've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. And we got a crew with us tonight. It is the week before Mania. It is the 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 mayhem after Mayhem Mania. And we got a lot of we we got we got a lot of fallout from that, I'm sure, that we'll get to here later <laughs> in the show. First of all, with us, he is the only Mayhemer with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. He is mad, Mike. Once an independent, now a contractor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, need, that, you know what? You know what? That was funny. When, when you when you get one, Mike, I give you credit. That was pretty good. That was good. That was yeah, good. That's thank right. You. Chris Larusso. Speaking of independent contractors, uh, is here on the show. A guardian of the independence. You might have uh, seen. Sh- sh- I think the WWE owns that. So oh, they do that. Yeah, don't don't don't, don't do that. Don't do that too much because God only knows what will end up happening. I'm live right now on my Instagram. So in case you're wondering what the hell I'm doing, but because uh, trust me, when he said that, a thought went through my head like that pro wrestling tea store is going to do so well, <laughs> and then. I was like, eh, somebody probably like trademarked that the second it came out of his right. You know, like, eh, well, start the Star Lord gimmick. Well, it's like, is it them? Is it Marvel? Who you're dealing with? Somebody, here? someone owns it. They're not just gonna let the <laughs> the extras have that, right? You right. Know, so. I mean, but uh, man, I was just thinking like, this would be a great faction. Oh, it would. You know, just oh, take boy. over independent wrestling with all those guys. You know, that was a good group of guys. So, yeah, and then have you get eliminated by an old legend with just a snap of the finger. Yeah, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Hey, he's coming tonight. Uh, he's coming tonight. <laughs> the super <laughs> That's not the legend you're taking. We'll talk about the legends you're taking on here in a couple weeks. Uh, and me, Carl, I'm talking to your wife. Also, with the Bobby FJ Town. There's is worse people us. to be talking to. Bobby FJ Hello. Town from Flood Town, USA. Hello, how is everybody? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, Bobby. I've been away for so long. All right. Also with us, Matt Carlin's mainstream Matt. So happy. Yeah, what would Elias do? Uh, <laughs> Spend two weeks in front of MetLife. Sport. <laughs> yes. Sporting. Uh, sporting that over here as well. Thank you. Thank you, the Carlins for. Just thank Jen. That's thank you, all. Jen Carlins, for the go. gift. I, I will wear this. I'm wearing this to LA this week. Um, and I hope TSA asked me about it. Sorg's going the furthest away from wrestling. Yes, I am. <laughs> Possibly can. <laughs> I am. Yes, I was asked to work a show on WrestleMania weekend, but I have to go do work at the furthest <laughs> continental United States point That's not away. true. You can go to Alaska. No, a continental. We don't that count Alaska. Continental. We don't count Alaska. That is what is the what is the contingent 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 it's contiguous. Contiguous. somebody in the chat somebody in the chat room correct us yeah. uh the, the producer producer english major please congruent 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 united states listen i don't need the lower pass. 48 lower 48 lower yes 48. is that fine <laughs> is that okay for you i'll accept that Okay, good. Uh, anyways, uh, well, now, now I'm going to look and see if Los Angeles actually. It is the contiguous the continental the states area. area. Contiguous. Contiguous. Contiguous, says producer Mason. It is, though. And I know what I learned in wrestling this week. <sighs> Sorg's going to go on top of the space needle. Right in the no, lower not, 48. Oh, no, not doing that. <laughs> it is also referred to as the conterminous. Conterminous? C O N T E R M I N O U S. Welcome to the wow. Conterminous that's episode of the Mayhem really Show. Is that the t- that's going to be the title of this episode? Something All right, like let's that. get to a topic. I'm sure we'll have. Oh some. wait, no, no, no. no. Do your plugs. Do First, your plugs. we have to tell you to go to wrestlingmayhemshow.com where you can find links and subscribe to us in podcast and video form, or look us up on your favorite platform, uh, podcast, YouTube, Facebook, and of course, also Google Home and Amazon Echo. Hey, Google, play Wrestling Mayhem Show. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you can play it on the office. That's fine. (laughs) 
Uh, okay, she's being <laughs> sassy right now, but it worked earlier, I swear. Uh, <laughs> you can do that on Google Home or Great a- ask your Echo to play Wrestling Mayhem Show on TuneIn. Sorry. You're still talking to me. Yeah, tell her to you shut should up. Just say, you should just say, Alexa, play Wrestling Mayhem Show. <laughs> What's playing? Sounds like a uh, pre-roll ad to me. Um, actually, yeah, they do run the NPR version. Hey, Google, stop. <laughs> um, anyways, <laughs> you can also email us at that email address. Good, good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Would it be amazing if I could Google Home to do that? Four one two two zero six WMS zero is the hotline. Tweet us at Mayhem Show and hit us on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page and group where there's a lot of great discussion happening out there with you guys. And of course, we're live every Tuesday on the Facebook Live for Wrestling Mayhem Show at nine p.m. Eastern time. Uh, you can Indie as- time. Well, I mean, we are live. <laughs> we are live talking about Mortal Kombat eleven with Chris Caruso and and, and whatever else and. Stories about Paul London and 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 things like that. Uh, thank also, God you didn't finish that sentence. Thank you, Patreon. <laughs> thank you, Patreon supporters. Uh, Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Of course, you know, ton of you in there for a Patreon in the bank. Or we had what we had twelve participants from Patreon yeah. that were a part of it. It was amazing. Uh, so one, that, that was one year long rivalry was made. So. That's right. That's right. That will we'll have to wait till next year. Uh, but anyways, thank you to our friends at the fan of the show, one dollar level. Bo Diggity! Woo! Woo! Ooh, that was nice. <clears throat> that was nice. Ed Burke, Bobby F. J. Town, Tina Keys, and the Matthew and Jennifer Car- Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment. Spit the marbles out. Our keep friends going. at the Pocky Club, five dollar level. Uh, that get a little bit of that extra conversation we recorded earlier. Our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling, Bradley Ruthers. Doc Remedy, Dave Potter of the Tiny Shutter Podcast, Kyle Turner, and Daniel Towery. And at the Pizza Club $10 level, our friends at the WrestlingRevolution.com. And at the Manager $20 level, Mad Mike. Full disclosure, I forgot it was a new month. Thank you for your contribution to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. (laughs) (laughs) Ching! You will get a personalized state of the show. Uh, from us here at the Wrestling Mayhem Show, Mad Mike. Bitch, I am the state of the show. <laughs> <laughs> and and um, uh, f- uh, gift fulfilled. Uh, anyways, hey, it is WrestleMania week. Hey, there is a WrestleMania this week. Mm-hmm. Um, hey, there's a WrestleMania this week. I understand there's a WrestleMania this week. And and Mike, I know you got some good news about what you wanted out of your WrestleMania. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, getting your. Uh, can, we, can we make it WrestleMania 30? What? Can we uh, make it WrestleMania 30? You just want to Why don't you just, just go you, back in time? You're just going to watch oh, WrestleMania 30 no. instead? Oh, because then yeah. Daniel Bryan will win and we don't want him to win. Well, that's true. Yeah, but that was a good Daniel Bryan. It was a different <laughs> Daniel Bryan. I think, I, no, no, no. I think right now we have a fantastic Daniel Bryan. Well, yeah, but we want Kofi to win. Yes. Because Kofi's Daniel Bryan and Daniel Bryan is uh, Batista? Daniel Bryan. No, Daniel Bryan is um, running for for the Green Party. Oh, he's he's a Negaverse Captain Planet. Negaverse Captain Planet. Yeah. Okay. Daniel Bryan. I'm surprised. Are you here? Do you think, do you think you should have gonna take the pancakes down to zero? Daniel Nader. Do you think that uh, he should have a uh, a move called the Green New Deal? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Don't want to get political <laughs> here, but yes. Uh, <laughs> um, so how how is it looking? How are we feeling going into WrestleMania here? Does it feel like a WrestleMania? <laughs> yeah, it's know. definitely long enough. It's long enough. It's long enough to be two WrestleManias. Mm-hmm. I mean, I hear more stories about like the length and the uh, what is missing, and and I don't know. Hey, weird. We... I always heard it was the width that was more important. <laughs> You know, it is funny though. You're you're absolutely right, Sorg. All I hear is like the two, the two, the, the two lines of thought going into WrestleMania is WrestleMania. Oh my God, it's too long. While at the same time, you hear people screaming, "Why is it X, Y, and Z on this WrestleMania card? Why don't they have a match? <laughs> yeah. Because it's too damn long." Every every wrestler on the planet Earth is going to be in New York for that week. I mean, yes. I saw something. Sorg. I I saw something this week um, that they were listing the top ten events of mania week that are not mania that are not mania yeah and i was like we, there's enough to be 10 and that's like there's way more than 10 there oh, yeah. you can you can do 10 
on Saturday. It's, okay. It, it, and uh, so, first of all, I'm 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 hearing a lot of buzz around Mania Week, right? And all the different shows that are happening. Uh, right. You know, I I had my eye on uh, uh the Blood Sports show, uh, mm. whatever the hell Orange Cassidy is doing, and I think that might be the actual title of yeah. the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that, that, that was not a that was not um uh, AIW's up there. AIW's for up the first there. Yes, time. absolutely. Um, I know. I mean, even just uh, if, you, if you want you want fun, if you if you don't already uh, follow Mike Moran. Uh, that does uh, production. I've done some work with him on some MMA and such. Uh, he is doing the Impact Show and Black Craft. And I, Black Craft is absolutely. And I'm yet. sure he's main probably, event's going to be up. I think main yeah, event main make, event's, main be event's be making there. their first uh, uh, main Vic, event. Victor Freeze. Uh, uh, that's our, Victor, damn, damn it, Victor, Mike, Victor Freeze. Victor Benjamin. We had a whole conversation Victor about Mister Freeze, Freeze. No, and he's fucking ruined me, Mike. I'm going no, 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 no. He's the clock king. <laughs> oh, and that's I, right. You had your yeah. Your, and how your, about that Twitter hole that I went down earlier in the week? The, but let's get let's the, skip that. The Batman characters of Pittsburgh wrestling. I, I said all of DC. I said all of DC. All of DC. But um, so back to the original point four hours ago. Um, <laughs> Mania Week is you know it, it Mania Week feels big. Uh huh. Mania itself. Um, there's a couple match. First of all, I thought that the with the exception of the kick fight in the back of the police car, <laughs> <laughs> I thought the which was amazing. I, I thought she's the, on my side. No, she's on my side. I thought that 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 was a great send home, if somewhat ridiculous, uh-huh. for the. Did you see somebody put that to Yakety Sax? I've yep, seen. No, I've already. I, I, I I've already seen uh, a couple edits to that, <laughs> but you know it. I understand that they couldn't have them like biting each other or head butting each other and they were handcuffed. So their options for how to attack each other was somewhat limited. The the kick fight in the in the back seat was a bit my although Charlotte's knee when oh, which yeah, that, that was, was head was, knee. They, it, speaking of Charlotte's speaking of things to do with that segment, yeah, someone yeah, someone did edit the uh the knee to run his head to the Eurythmics. And um <laughs> I'm not lying. I watched it about three or four times, and <laughs> that thing was awesome. I loved it. It it it, it reached the perfect level of, of of absurdity. Once Rhonda hands free drove the car into the police car, <laughs> I was I, I I was in love. But, it's so awesome. But I mean, again, that that's really you know that and Triple H Batista, uh, I think, are the two really like like buzz built matches. We haven't I'd say had Kofi and Daniel too. Kofi and Daniel, yes, okay, I can see, and, and they've definitely, and they've done a great job of building that. So, so three. I was thinking more on the raw side of things. Just whoa, whoa, whoa! You don't care about Kurt Angle's last match being against Baron Corbin? I thought that the I thought that the tribute video they had last night was probably better than than just about anything they could have. Done. I still don't believe it's going to be Baron Corbin. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think they're going to switch it at the last. Yeah, I mean, it could be Cena. I've heard, I've heard yeah. that you know the the rumors that that it'll be Cena, but. Um, I, I'm really looking forward to uh, the Daniel Bryan, Kofi Kingston match. I'm really looking forward to triple H and Batista. I'm really looking forward to the women's match. Um, I'm a fan of Finn Balor and I'm interested in sort of just whatever's going on. So I'm curious to see what they, uh, uh, the WrestleMania demon entrance. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they could do something really this cool. This is what I've entrance. been waiting it, for. It's for him. going to be the demon statue of Liberty. Um, mm-hmm. what would be the demon of New York? Because he, you remember when when they did, um, take over Texas. He had the chainsaw because Leatherface yeah, is the yeah. is the demon. And of London Texas. was Jack the Ripper. The, the the demon of London. So what is the demon yeah. of New York? Um, the, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that, Mike? <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> King Kong, but you're the, the next. <laughs> Donald Trump. Oh, oh hey, 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 hey. Moving right along. Bobby, all Bobby, right. We don't claim him, all right? We don't, we don't claim him. You take his name out of your mouth. <laughs> Jeez. Um, no, yeah, so and that's and that's the thing. And I have said like, you know, somebody was telling me about like, well, who who do we put up front for some <laughs> John stuff? Carl says John Gotti. John- <laughs> <laughs> it could be a gangster. That could be fun. Um, you know who I, I think he's gonna be demon statue of liberty. Like somebody was, uh, you know, we talked about like people being concerned, like, well, who what's left for the indies now that like AEW is taking stuff? I said it right. Did I say it right? Yes, did yes. It. Uh, I'm getting there. Um, you know, they're taking all the top talent. So what what's left? And I was just like, well, look at Mania Weekend and see who pops up. See who's on your feed. Who's who has the gifts. Well, they're also not running a show Mania Weekend. Uh, no, and- no, no. And, and my my point is, my point is for who is going to 
be the stars of the indies come this summer when all those people are locked up. That's oh yeah, but I mean, I, see, I I still don't know if their deals are all exclusive. Um, I they're not. I, they're I think not you're gonna see some of those. Guys. I I say see what happens in fall because obviously things yeah. are doing. Uh, Chris, for instance, just wrestled in AEW, contracted uh, Britt Baker, mm-hmm. uh, just a few weeks ago. How'd that so, go? Yeah. Kenny can go to Japan, I think. Yeah. I, I've heard that there's, a, that, you know, and, and of course, um, time will tell ultimately mm-hmm. what, what what's going to happen. But it feels like that 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 there's opportunities bubbling up for everybody. You know, I can definitely see uh, the main event getting. Someone's got to take a look at the main oh, event. Oh my god! Yes, here. I mean, that that gif of them putting Atticus into the lights. Yeah. Was that was insane? You, you know, hey Addy, could you check check the light bulbs while you're up there? Yeah, uh, yeah. One of the sickest moves I've seen. Um, when 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 I see Duke like pondering uh, Lucha Brothers moves from Impact uh, mm-hmm. on Facebook, it's just like he's working on something. Oh yeah, like he, he, you could see the the gears were turning. And it was like, okay, what can to what can we do at our size? that's like that crazy. But but sort of along the you know the to put it in mania perspective, look at how many people they're getting on to mania. Mm-hmm. This, I mean, mm-hmm. I'm going to take a rough guess. Are there going to be 50 wrestlers? Oh, perform? way more than that. Oh, more than that yeah. when you count the battle. Royals. Way more than that. Yeah. There's two, there's two battle Royals. So we, are we talking a hundred wrestlers? Are we talking 150 wrestlers as far as performers? Like, I mean, if, if you're counting the kickoff, if uh-huh. you're also counting the kickoff, mm-hmm. You figure which, you, which, which I think it is because I think they, they those people I think get a WrestleMania payoff. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Like I personally don't consider it WrestleMania because it's on separate files on the the network and all that stuff. But you know they still advertise it as WrestleMania. Separate fi- but, there are separate files on the network and in your heart. Yes, and also uh, the SmackDown team was not shut out at Survivor Series, but they won't tell you that. Uh, Right. But any but anyway, um like the men's battle royal, you're gonna have thirty people in it. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. the women's probably twenty. So we got mm-hmm. fifty before we've had a singles match. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. On the and one you have many, yeah. many multiple people. Yeah, then you have uh, a fatal four way tag team match. You have the fatal um, four way tag team women's match. The fail yeah, the fatal <laughs> four way tag team women's match. So that's another 16 people and that we've only named four matches we've already multiplied mm-hmm. the max of like women in matches probably on card Ever, yeah. and honestly not, not i'm probably kind of underestimating world. with the number of women that are going to be in that battle royal yeah they'll probably up it to 30 and we haven't even touched uh takeover we haven't touched nope. like my god a thousand people are gonna are going to work on maybe a weekend <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, they yeah. will be. And and somehow Ricochet and Aleister Black have two tag team title matches. Yeah, in the same weekend. And oh, yeah. and yeah. even yeah. there's WrestleCon where it could have gr- been three. There's WrestleCon <laughs> where where such amazing things are going to happen. Like uh, Heel Bradley sent me recently. You can cut touch it for thirty dollars a piece. Uh, <laughs> photo ops with uh, <laughs> Joey Ryan's penis. You can <laughs> touch it. You can touch it. Is a, is the graphic. Uh, this Friday, April fifth, at uh, I, oh, this is a photo op things are like only fifteen minutes. I think they're doing on the schedule, and uh, yeah, on the fifth and the sixth at three fifteen and two p.m. Well, well I know what the, I'm doing on Saturday. So you just walk past and tap it. WrestleCon.com to pre-order. Um, if somebody, Jen, hold on, hold on, sword, sword. Jen missed this part. Jen, the revival are on WrestleMania. They're going to go up against Hawkins and Ryder. Yes, that is official. Do we have a final match count? 15,000. 15 or 16? Yes. I think think it's about 16 or 17. I've heard heard it rumored all the way up to 17. I think, like, right now, is there, like, 14, 13 confirmed? And we need to add some more to Mayhem Mania. Just a a touch base here (laughs) with the chat room. Hill Bradley says, the greenhouse effect is Brian's move. Um, Oh, okay. um, Let's see. Brunch (laughs) and bottomless mimosas here on the West Coast for WrestleMania. Uh, out there, out there in Seattle, and, and again, hey, if anybody knows, let me know any WrestleMania weekend uh, festivities in LA. Even everybody's in New York, so I know everybody's in New York. <laughs> no, there's there's wrestling. There's a re- I know right. uh, Alex and I are going to a wrestling show downtown LA. Um, I I don't know. I didn't recognize the the Fed or anything. Uh, but I'm looking for a WrestleMania party at least in North LA. 
okay over ground right right now yes. there are 15 matches according to the wikipedia page mm -hmm. and that doesn't have the raw tag title match that will most likely be added oh i have a cbs sports update that shows 35 matches Oof. Wait, and this was, what this was posted wow. 59 minutes ago 35 35 well it's including the takeover the rumble matches and everything like that too wait uh, what 35 <laughs> That's going to be Crown Jewel 2. Oh, wait. That. No, no, no. No, no. It's WrestleMania okay. 35. Yeah, it's mess. Okay, I realize this. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> I'm having people over for this. They're going to be, they're going to be there ridiculous. at 7 a.m. <laughs> Not to mention, hey, there's also a Access going to be an entire yeah. Worlds Collide tournament. I love that they keep yep. doing this. And I, I, I love everybody responding on our group that was like, I'd rather watch this than WrestleMania at this point. I'm going to watch some of it. <laughs> I'm going. I'm match. going on Monday where it's all the women's matches. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I am amped. They're doing a Monday access, great. like they've extended access to to, to a work. They day. might yeah. as well. Everyone's still in town. That is true. That is. I true. think everyone's going to stay in town till Tuesday. These now, like uh, mostly. Yeah. Yeah. Cause well, no, because because Tuesday, um, all the raw people have flown out. Okay, but but aren't they sense. still doing SmackDown in New York? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the but the Raw crew has a different house show on a, a different location. Okay, I'm, I meant the the fans are like you know. Oh, the fans usually. Yeah, a lot usually of people do don't stay till till SmackDown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Some do though. Uh, let's see. Uh, checking in again. Alex Carr says the idea of Liddy at a uh, back black craft wrestling excites him. Also, look out for a friend of um, uh, the show, Toddy. Uh, uh, from Thrifty Podcast, probably in a jumpsuit flipping people off at Blackcraft because that seems to be his <laughs> that's what he's, that's MO. What he does. <laughs> oh, he was on the corner, uh, the corner of the entrance, just just finger extended right in people's face. I, I think he hmm. got, I think he got called a slur that had to be edited out of the uh, repost later. Uh, oh. So it got awkward. Uh, but no, he, I, I, he, I think I don't even know how many shows he said he was going to when he was uh, posting I, I, earlier today or yesterday when he was mm -hmm. uh, prepping for it. So. Uh, so look for him out there. Definitely going to be some friends of the show out there. Um, and and the on shows. Course. Holy crap. Standard rule. If you see Mad Mike and address me as such, one free chop. Oh, that seems dangerous in New York City. <laughs> Sorg. Overhand. Sorg, I don't know if I'm just intimidating, but it's never happened. So mm -hmm. Overhand. Also, I'm going the weekend after WrestleMania to New York City. Bobby, you are, like, you are not allowed to chop me, though. I'm going to be like the John Travolta gif, where he's like looking around like, where's where'd all the wrestling go? <laughs> Fun fact, I hit Mike, Mad Mike with a coconut last time we were uh, hanging out together. <laughs> Wait, this what? Is true. Yeah. This is true. All right, Piper. Was yeah, that in? It's it, true. It happened that... in Piper's pit. It was, good it was in Piper's yep. pit, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember yeah. those pictures from the video. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the Mayhem, uh, the, 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 the WMS uh, 23.5, you can see on our YouTube and Facebook channels, the documentary yeah. of their trip to WrestleMania weekend last year. Definitely worth a watch. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, hey, uh, speaking of a lot of those guys that are going to be showing up on IP reviews and shows and AIW, I, ha I have to mention, you know, Hornswoggle versus uh, uh, Scott Steiner. Epic. Oh, just, boy. Just, Let, let's do the math on that. I hope. I ho <laughs> hey. But if you want to check out some of these guys in action that are uh, probably going to explode very soon, including that uh, full match with that flea flicker um, with the main event. Uh, from IWC 18, the last show. Um, those are all, of course, part of the IndieWrestling.us network. Start your free trial today for seven days, $5.99 a month, including IWC, Prospect Pro Wrestling, uh, the Legend of Virgil documentary that we did, the uh, Montreal Theory, boo, boo. <laughs> Uprise, <laughs> uh, Breakfast with Champions, Renegade Wrestling Alliance, Renegade Wrestling Alliance. What are you gonna uh, do with another Breakfast with Champions? I, I, I still I, have another episode to edit. Okay, <laughs> so that will be coming out sooner or later. Now that none of them are champions. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, Prime oh, Wrestling well. Premiere and Duke and Doe's Hardcore Memories. So much wrestling. I want to propose a show. Me and Mark Man talking about WCW. Okay. I mean, all right. You know, are you you. you I don't know if you saw my stance on pilots. Okay, we're open for it. Uh, we are in. Pinata. We are in talks. See, and that's how is not Marcus even... Mann connected to most of the shows that I get proposed these days? 
well, I, because Marcus won't shut up. Okay. And it's almost so we might as well build a network on him. <laughs> well, no, I mean we might as well make use of just that that the constant stream of information that's coming out of his head. You know, it makes sense. I mean, we like like Joe Dombrowski is kind of built a media empire on his own, right? Of these productions, we just put sure. out missing missing matches with Samoa Joe. Where you can oh yeah yeah, yeah. all like that stuff, stuff. Like that. yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, he does he does have some some gems that that kind of you know slip through the cracks so yeah he's he's really good about that and, and getting those together and you know a lot he of seems those... to have a knack of getting a match of somebody who will later be a big deal mm-hmm. he seems to have a knack for that mm-hmm. so again the right libraries and everything like that mm-hmm. and of course a lot of the, that that's available actually that is available today on VOD. Over at IndieWrestling.us. That's IndieWrestling.us. IndieWrestling.us. And then a lot of the other content you can get on subscription at IndieWrestling.network for five ninety nine a month. Five ninety nine um, a month? That's 5. it? $5.99 a month. That God, is all. That's two tacos. That's two tacos from across the street here yeah. in Beachview at the wonderful taco stand. That was the same place where Lucha Fiesta in Pittsburgh. And where, think, now, where can you find that? Where? What? Where can you find Lucha Fiesta? As on IndieWrestling.us. IndieWrestling.us? Okay. Yes, absolutely. It all comes full circle. Mm-hmm. And you can find a lot of Chris LaRusso taking on AEW's Britt Baker mm-hmm. from uh, recently at IWC's 18. And other mm-hmm. fine Chris LaRusso moments mm-hmm. over the years. <laughs> All your favorite, all your favorite Chris LaRusso moments. Chris LaRusso moments. Oh, and trust me, with this new alliance with Jock, there's going to be so many new <laughs> Chris LaRusso moments that, that you're all going you know, to love and and enjoy. And and Sora, you're going to have a delight filming these. So, oh, sadly, I'm not in town for a Me- the Meadville show coming up in a couple of weeks, mm. but we we have the team down there. <clears throat> And, Jock's uh, already bought me a cowboy hat. He's already oh trying no. to. He's already trying to. So, get so me. you guys are teaming up. You uh-huh. guys had a moment after a match mm-hmm. at that last show, which uh, gotta be honest, felt a little, uh, slightly broke back mountain for a moment. Well, you know, it, I, it just I was, it came off. I, interesting. I was certainly feeling broke. Uh, okay, I'll say that much. But you know, I, I was feeling down, and and Jock came to help me out, and to and to to help get me out of my rut, get me out of my. Uh, losing streak yeah. and uh and i think that you know when the heir apparent and the goat join forces you know, no one's gonna be able to stop so us. you guys have a t- you you guys do have a match um yes. for iwc's night of the superstars night of the superstars april is it the 13th i believe it's the 13th yes. okay thank you Oof. uh april 13th meadville um uh, yes it'll be um we're still working on a team name um uh, Goat King was proposed. Oh, please. Uh, oh, we have the may- Mayhemers at your disposal okay. here. I'm sure you'll get a team name by the end of the night. Okay. Um, but uh, versus uh, the hardcore Bob Holly and uh, a thorn in both of our sides for our 10 years at IWC, Andrew Palace. Mm-hmm. So basically, as long as we can, you know, as, as long as we can get hardcore Holly taken care of, then I feel like we we could just beat the ever living hell. Hardcore Holly still intimidating, still intimidating. And you know what? I saw him at Remix uh, a couple uh, two remixes ago. Does that sound about right? He was at, he he was at a recent remix, and he was still in good shape. Mm-hmm. You know, does uh, he still have the best drop kick in the biz? No, that's me. Um, oh, oh, are we yeah. gonna have a drop kick off? Oh, fight here in Meadville. I mean. I definitely have the best leg drop in the business, and the only person, good air, good air, and, and the yes. only person I'll say is um, that that consistently gets it right on the forehead is Okada. I don't consistently get it right on the forehead. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I so I that's probably I, I'll put myself in the top five. Okay, top five drop kicks in the business. top five drop kicks in the business. Chris yes. Larusso, you heard it here first. Yes. Uh, <laughs> And, and there's a lot, but there's a lot of other good things that are happening. Let let let's. I mean, we're here. We might as well plug Night of the Superstars. Uh, we've got the rematch between Wardlow and Mcchesney. That match was incredible mm-hmm. at 18. That was a really really good match. Really good matchup and revenge as well. Uh huh. So. And uh, we've also got uh the main event and MVP, which is I think Gannon Jones' like dream match. Uh, so he's <laughs> really really looking forward to that. Uh, taking on Dylan Bostick. Uh, the man dime Elijah Dean and Calvin Couture. Um, let's see, we've got uh, the, the, the Hurricane taking on Bulk Nasty, which I'm really, really, really looking forward to. Um, a special appearance by Sting. Um, by the way, Shane, Shane, uh, uh, Hurricane, I believe, took a pancake to the face at Wheeling 
from what I understand. So from what I've heard, it almost cost him an eye. Like, yeah, yes. almost, yeah, yeah. You almost very had, dramatic. Like, you almost had like the hurricane with an eye patch taking on Bulk Nasty. Yeah, apparently. that would that wouldn't be good. No, that would not. Stand be back. Good. There's a pancake cup coming through. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then oh, uh, Jackson Argos and uh, uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. You know, U.S. versus Jeez. Canada. Jeez, that that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, go check it out. Um, and of course, Sting is gonna be there. I said that. Did we say Sting? I said Sting. We, okay. Sting, Sting. Special appearance by Sting. This is the place that we talk about it on the show. This is the, this is the same event where uh, you had a one on one, and we we talked before your full circle with Tatanka, mm-hmm. oh. somebody that you met as a child and mm-hmm. had a match with yep. there. And had that experience. I wore, I wore oh, so I need to have a match with Tatanka now too, because I met him Me as too. a child. <laughs> I, I I had dinner with Tatanka as a child. I wore out a, the cassette tape playing his song over and over again. It's already, <laughs> how do you know that it started? I no. Okay. Anyways, go check out iwcwrestling.com. Um and uh, no, Sorg, he had, he had the song on the WrestleMania album. That's true. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I like. Every we know what Tatanka's song is. There's nobody who's listening to this podcast right now who doesn't know what Tatanka's theme sounds there's like. Some young, <laughs> although there's some young people out there. Uh, I will thank say, you. Thank yeah. That was necessary. That was important. We and, needed. And that. there's our takedown notice. Uh, Wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting you bring that up. Uh, I don't know. This is kind of a side topic, but I'm, I'm quickly realizing uh, how old I am. And how close I am to death because <laughs> because I, I, there's this new new uh, crop of students that are about to uh, come out for yeah. proving ground yeah. here in May. Uh, another new class that just started. A few I talked to ago. a couple of them in Erie a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. I'm really yeah. excited to see what the, what's coming from them. And uh, and it's it's great. I always like seeing what the next generation has to bring. I, mm-hmm. I like seeing what. The, what they bring to the table. It's less like, Oh, you know, do this. I kind of want to see what they got, but I'm realizing how young this new generation is. Mm -hmm. And it, and it hit me right between the eyes uh, a couple months ago when we were driving to a court time show. I can't even remember which one it was. And I always like to try and ride with the rookies and kind of get to know them, you know, see, pick their brain, see what's going on. And I was telling them about watching Monday night raw. And what I would do is I'd watch the first hour of Nitro. I'd watch I think two I saw hours. This post. I'd watch the the two hours of Raw, mm-hmm. and then if you remember, at least where I grew up, Nitro would be on uh, repeat mm-hmm. at mm-hmm. Uh, at midnight mm-hmm. or midnight or one a.m. I can't remember what it's made for. Great summer nights, and I would get uh, and I or, or sleepy or sleepy Tuesdays mm-hmm. at school, and and yep. I'd get the rest of. Uh, and I get the rest of Nitro. So I'm just like, yeah, I do this, I do this, I do this. And he's like, yeah, I was born in 1999. Uh, <laughs> that's my graduated high school. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 1999, and he's going to debut here in a couple months. So. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting that with oh, the then, and then, And then Dime, I almost punched Dime when I teamed with him. When Glacier was coming out, I, uh, I mentioned... Uh, yeah, I think I was 13 when I first heard this theme. How old were you? He's like, I wasn't born yet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that was that was like you you had two guys in that match. It was like, oh, they got the team with Glacier. I'm like, do they even know? I knew who he was. I mean, of course you did, but yeah. I mean, you know, you're like yeah. our age. But it, you know, these guys these guys are like, like they Dime's don't... not 21 yet. So oh jeez, wow, oh jeez. So so who who has inspired? Like who are the figures from? Our very recent pro wrestling history, who has inspired this class to get into wrestling? Have they yeah. named well, people? Because jo- it can't Patch- be like, um, because I, I, it can't be Austin. It can't be you know. I mean that that's Dime the, you know, told, before their time. Dime told me HBK, but like second run HBK. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it's uh, not a bad answer. No, no, no. But it, but it no, means, yeah. but he's talking. He doesn't know. Ta- what- he's talking the Taker Mania matches yeah. HBK. Whereas, you know, when I think HBK, I'm thinking, you know, Rockers. the Hell in the Cell with The Undertaker. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, the first run with the title, the match Sean with Sid, and Brett. D- Sean and Brett, Diesel. Mm-hmm. Sean and Foley. Sean and Foley. Yeah. I'm th- I think that era of Sean. Mm-hmm. Barbershop window. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and his- Patch, Patch said Jeff 
party, I think. Okay. Was Ooh, was one that of makes his. sense. But it was bitchweed. <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way, Johnny Patch goes by the Daredevil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So American Daredevil. American Daredevil. American Daredevil. Johnny Patch. So mm-hmm. I mean, that kind of goes with it. So um, you know, I, there, there's, and I've tried to inspire them to to go deeper into wrestling history yeah. and find yeah. something. Uh, like one of the things is, um, I told Dime, I was like, watch Gino Hernandez. Because I kind of thought that that, with what he has been kind of trying to do, uh, hey, hey, explain for the people who don't know, like yeah. the, the man dime Elijah Dean, like what mm-hmm. is his gimmick? For well, people you know, he he it. thinks he's he's God's gift to women. He's yeah, uh, you know, into his look, his cologne, his you know, his jackets. He you know, he's his own biggest fan. And Gino Hernandez, um, with by the way, a nickname you could not get away with in 2019. Does anyone? I, I'll. But does anyone in the room know what Gino Hernandez's nickname was? Oh, God. No. Going once, going twice. It's going to bug me. The handsome day. half-breed. Yeah. <laughs> this was a different era. Oh, it certainly was. And it was Texas. <laughs> oh. So, um, but, you know, I, I said because I thought that that was, there's maybe some some lost tricks mm-hmm. that uh, that you could find there. But, yeah, I'm getting old. <laughs> but it's good to dig those up, and 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 it's good when you know you expose them to that, right? Oh, absolutely, like, and and and, they, and a lot of them are very hungry for. Um, I'm actually kind of inspired uh, when people who I don't have to prompt already know. Yeah, like we have a guy who's coming out in the next class who was a big fan of World of Sport, mm-hmm. and you know that, that was the the ESPN. No, 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 no. Right. A world of no, sports. Oh, the English, English one. The, the, oh, well, that's the, right. That's the British. Right. Yeah. yeah. The the British wrestling, and um, you know, I that wasn't anything I had to prompt him on. He already he was already a, a big fan of that. So. Uh, Tina's out there with the Eugenia Hernandez as well as Gentleman Chris Adams Gentleman during Chris their Adams. tag team stint as well. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Hey, a, a learned fan there, mm-hmm. someone who appreciates their history. <laughs> no, Tina, Tina's dropping a lot of knowledge in the chat room actually. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, no, it's really good. Like I said, and some surprises when I, uh, or the one, the one student, um, some more recent mm-hmm. inspirations that kind of surprised me and I can't wait mm-hmm. to see their, uh, rendition of, of what this is going to be. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to, I don't want to spoil anything. No, but, I don't want to uh, either, but, yeah. but I'm, I'm, I think they'll, uh, I think we got a good group coming up. I think we got another group, uh, you know, down the pipe, ready to go. It's going it, it, to, the, the future of IWC is very healthy. That's right. So. That's right. And again, same same school that it's uh, you know produced Britt Baker and mm-hmm. and uh, Jinx and Katie Arquette and uh, it, it, yeah, Jamie like Jameson, it, Jamie Dime Jameson. Patch, yeah, um, sexy fireman, sexy yeah. fireman, sexy fireman. <laughs> Calvin Couture, uh, you know it goes on, but you know people are definitely um, on the uh, many of them I think on the verge of do, of breaking out for. Mm-hmm. A lot of indie uh, spots out there. Mm-hmm. Um, so, anyways, we, we kind of teased at the beginning of the show. You were on Monday Night Raw. Ah, uh, yes. It was a nice surprise when we were here in town. It was a nice surprise audience. for me that day. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I know there was a call out uh, for for a mass call out for a lot of uh, uh, extra workers. There, there. there was a uh, you know, and I and I will give uh, I will give credit where credit is due. I owe a big thank you to uh, Lady Cross and Victor Benjamin. So I will be sure to make sure uh, to say that at the outset. Uh, thank you very much for putting the good word in for me. I greatly appreciate it. Um, but yeah, it was a, it was an awesome experience. Um, th- two things I kind of as my phone blows up in my lap. What's this? It's WWE calling saying oh. shut up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they don't listen to this. No. Um, no. That is the one thing I could I could say whatever I want. I might as well be yelling into the void. You're, uh, you're an independent contractor. You're oh, yeah. fine. So, <laughs> <coughs> and I'll make this brief since I I don't want this show to go uh, as long as WrestleMania. Um, number one, I was really that was surprised. last week. I was really surprised how many people I knew who were there. I ran into Steve Carino, who's been a mentor of mine and is is now working with the Raw brand. Um, you know, I saw Elias, uh, Kurt Angle, uh, EC3, who um, remembers me from his VOW match because he had a match in VOW against Andrew Palace. Um, you know, and it was it was kind of I ran into Leo Rush, who I knew from some uh, Ring of Honor tryouts, and there was a lot of people who I knew through just like I either worked with them or we were in a tryout together or I knew them, and and a lot of the uh, other Guardians. 
uh, you know, Laszlo, for, uh, for example, who I've been on shows with. Um, and it was, uh, so that was, that was kind of cool to sort of see so many people who I had known or who I had been on shows with. Uh, and just to mention the, uh, uh, the, the guardians quote unquote, mm -hmm. uh, that you may know from being on this show or, or, or our other ones, uh, Victor mm -hmm. Benjamin, of course, like mm -hmm. you mentioned, um, as well as, um, John, uh, John Roden. Roden. And I don't know if there's anybody else familiar few referees, to our a few, audience. A couple few referees. referees. If you, if you watch, well, I'll say if you've watched some of the stuff on IndieWrestling.us, you've definitely seen. You have guys. seen a few. Conga line too. You said Nick Nero was there, right? Yeah, Nick Nero yeah, was there. Well, your hero, uh, Nick Nero. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just edited a match with him this afternoon. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, no. The, so it was you know a lot of good talent uh, there as well, and uh, catering is fantastic. <laughs> Catering is out <laughs> of way, this word. So what is it? Yeah, what is the catering word? You know, I, I, I've heard the legend of WWE catering for so many years, and I was uh -huh. sort of like, you know, how good could it possibly be? Everything from Lucky Charms cereal to, like, <laughs> baked salmon and everything Mixed in between. Mixed together. <laughs> <laughs> I will say one thing that, that I remember, a couple, like, moments that stick out in my mind from that. Number one is watching Braun Strowman eat. <laughs> that I don't know exactly how many calories are needed to fuel you know that that machine but I was uh I was actually catching up with uh Elias at the time and Braun Strowman sits down at the same table we're at and he's got what I, I, it's not even like it's like a cereal bowl but even a little bit bigger I've got my hands up for like about that big and it is you know crested with chicken, just grilled, plain grilled chicken. And he pours some Dijon mustard on it and just starts powering through. Did he All say it's time to get these hens? Uh, <laughs> you know what? Mute, mute him. Mute him and throw him out of the I'm ashamed that I laughed at that. Uh, You're welcome. Um... But yeah, I, I was uh, blown away by just, and it didn't even look like he was enjoying it. Like no, it, a guy who a guy who eats for, as a job. Yeah, you yeah, know? Like, yeah, basically. Like, like he needed fuel in his body. That yeah. was it. this. This was this was fuel intake and nothing more. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Oh, I ran into uh, the former Sterling James Keenan as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Corey so that, Graves. So that was kind of cool. And uh, you know, boy, he's a he's a busy guy. Mm -hmm. He is, he is as somebody who and 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 the guy who, God, that's a hard job. Mm -hmm. Vince in your ear, that's got to be a hard job, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, torture. And no uh, wonder, he, no wonder he takes it out on the internet. Well, <laughs> you know what? It's, it's got to go somewhere. But not. But that was it. Was really cool to see him, and you know, because I haven't I haven't talked to him seven eight years, something mm -hmm. like that. Some it's been a long time. So it, it was good to see him, and and uh, you know. Give him props for all of his success. Um, I, I have new respect for the machine. I have new respect for the fact that this company puts this show on the road and does it every single month, every single week, several times a week. Um, I can only remember one time in recent history that Raw didn't go on as scheduled. It was that time the snowstorm. Knocked out. I think it was yeah, right after did, the Royal They did it from like, the yeah. studio. They did it from um, the studio. Fu fun story about that Raw. Oh, okay. That's the only time Brock Lesnar has wrestled on Raw since 2002. Huh? I thought he was just... I mean wrestled. I mean wrestled as in they aired his title match from the Royal Rumble. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. That's the, only th that's the only time he's wrestled on Raw since 2002 is that Raw. I had like a giant snowmobile and just was the only one that could make it through the arena but I, no but there was someone who was walking to the arena <laughs> yeah it was dean, dean ambrose it was dean yeah it was dean yeah but but i mean if you think about it how ever many we i mean we, we raw 1000 was a was a little while ago so how many weeks uh how many years where and you know raw doesn't have huge technical problems or huge technical difficulties that you see from you know the NFL has more technical difficulties than Raw does, um, and it's just astonishing. They put this show on the road. They had done a a, a pay per view the night before, and they set up, 
it goes off relatively without a hitch mm-hmm. and they just and the machine just keeps rolling you know you can say whatever you want about your feelings on creative or your feelings on the creative direction or in ring performance you know that's that's your prerogative but you got to tip your hat to the fact that this machine has gone on for you know umpteen years and doesn't slow down and runs basically like a swiss watch everyone yeah. on the technical side and the production side is like the best at their jobs like they know yeah. exactly what they're doing it's incredible mm-hmm. and and still like uh we know we know people uh locally that go in and help with the build out and and tear mm-hmm. down like you know just like mm-hmm. any other you know stage show and stuff. i did see somebody who i was not expecting to see but i just know who it was be i saw him from afar mm-hmm. it was in the arena i saw kevin dunn oh so, really yes so that was one of those rare white elk moments <laughs> and all i'm thinking is is that like you know if, if jim Cornette could not be this close to kevin dunn like he wouldn't he he he, he, would, he would sprint and attack him so it, it was just one of those things where it's like wow that's the guy that made Cornette have a full coronary like, <laughs> um but yeah and the main thing i took away was just you know a ton of respect for the technical crew and the, yeah. the the television production and uh everybody who makes it happen and 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 the guys of course for their for the travel schedule like you you you're allowed to have your complaints you're allowed to have your opinion you you got to stand up and salute the how well this machine runs mm-hmm. in my opinion mm-hmm. which i mean can be a sap on the creative it absolutely can uh, be. you know so it, it's hard to it's hard to do all of this and put a, a, a product mm-hmm. out, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, and for you know everything that everybody deals with there. They, you know, I always say when somebody, you know, quote unquote, fizzles out from WWE, leaves, whatever, like, mm-hmm. it is not for everybody. You can be. No, I know. I absolutely. You can be an amazing wrestler, do some great things, but may not have the personality to function within that machine. No, you, you definitely need to be a certain kind of personality to keep with that schedule. You definitely have to be a certain personality to deal with that stress. You definitely have to be a certain personality to deal with directions that are changing and fluctuating. And, okay, we were going to do this shot, but now that got canceled, so now we're doing a different shot. Hey, we're going back to the first shot. You know, it's uh, the, the people who do pull it off, God bless them. I mean, even like something as small, like when you watch Raw and they'll have like a lower third crawl of stuff, they time that out so you don't miss anything in the match if you want to read that lower third. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like even something as small as that, and they only do that like once or twice every show, but still, they always time it to where they know it's going to be like a wrestled or. Or, or they're they're communicating. I, I was mm-hmm. randomly listening to an interview with Simon Gotch, and they they were like they were like oh they, they said they're in replay, so I went and reacted to the crowd or something, right? Mm-hmm. Instead of like going after the guy, you know, it's like they, they they there's there's methods to that versus go out there and have a match in front of me. Oh, okay. So yeah. so back to your thing. You said about my reaction to uh, the Guardians of the Independent scene. Okay. <laughs> so we were in the parking lot and i wish i could remember this guy's name because he was super nice i think he was a director okay so uh shorter gentleman um bald and he was super 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 nice Mm -hmm. and it was very clear the the car will come here there will be a light here there will be a camera here it was very 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 helpful Mm -hmm. and he's telling us like okay when you get to the ramp triple h is gonna say a line don't laugh you know you can react but don't overreact you know sell it but don't sell it and there's a part of me that's like, what line could be so funny that they're telling us not to laugh? And then he goes, we're, he's going to call you guys the guardians of the independent scene. I'm like, thank God you told me that that was what you were going to say, or else I would have laughed on national television. Yeah. I couldn't believe you guys were keeping a straight face during that. Whole well, thing. no, because they, they smartened us up. Yeah. They, well, I mean, yeah. That's very smart on their part. Well, and so is that is that what was happening in this picture? Because there's like there, there's a little bit of a smattering of reaction here, I think. Well, I on. mean, I think that it just caught my. Well, I we're waiting on the delay to come up. Yeah, it'll be on the big picture in a moment. But uh, because it looks like I don't. I don't so okay, so it looks like you're going ooh or no. You're I think taking, I, taking I think a I was, deep breath. I was taking a deep breath, and you know, um, look like 
Nero's got a scowl on his face, and what? And and Benjamin has a furrowed brow. So don't, <laughs> don't pretend like I'm the only person there Bo- who's Bo- making. Ben up. Boone's just hanging out. I. Oh yeah, we forgot Ben Boone. Yeah, he was there. Um, but yeah, I I, I think uh, I, I definitely reacted to it, but mm-hmm. um. But don't pretend like I'm the only person in that <laughs> lot. Then it's like the fucking the guards at Buckingham Palace, and I'm there going, ah. <laughs> Thank you for the video. If I'm not sure that he caught that, but okay. Somebody get that, please. Uh, <laughs> we got it. Yep. <laughs> it belongs to the internet now. <coughs> yes, it does. Oh, man. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> it just came across the feed, didn't it? Thank you. Yeah. Oh man. Uh well, uh, you got a lot going on and uh you know, from Ring of Honor to mm-hmm. escorting uh Big Batista. Yep. So and I, and I, and of course I paid tribute to in the match with Britt Baker. Yeah. Which so I heard one person in the crowd. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I wasn't allowed to do a Batista bomb. They got really angry and eerie when you yelled, I was on WWE. Raw. Yeah, you like, know. I don't know what their They're problem like, was. Go back. Go back to IWC. The guy right behind me the whole time. Maybe he was yelling at me because I was in the way. I don't know. No. But you never know. Um, uh, great stuff. Always good having you on here. Uh, and catching up with you, and and uh, and we'll get some more perspective when uh, uh, Victor Benjamin joins us next week mm-hmm. as well. The Clock so, King. The Clock King. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would have invited John Roden on, but he he has a good drive to get in here. I don't know what he could do. In here. I don't. I, he's in the chat room hanging out. Your okay. fellow guardian. Okay. Uh, so I know he's been. Uh, he's having out. a hell of a, a year as well already. Oh my yeah. god, yeah, he's, he, he's well. another guy that's, that's on verge of breakout status for sure absolutely it's amazing he posted a uh something in the chat room it was like 18 food emojis in a row and i asked him is that what you ate in catering (laughs) 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 he hasn't answered me yet but he's a big boy i bet he can put it down yeah no doubt uh but anyways uh uh, so with that, I forgot what is the next segment here. Uh, hey, speaking, speaking of, of putting sorts, things down, speaking of putting things down and catering, we cater our uh, our podcast nights here with our friends at Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Our friends right up the street here in Beachview, Carnegie East End, and PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. I know uh, uh, Matt Carlin's. Speaking of the Pirates, I know you were there on opening day. Yeah. 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 Did you partake in some slice? No, I was too busy drinking beer. Oh, they got beer in there, I think. <laughs> in the in the pizza? No, no, no. At the pizza joint. Oh, okay. I was like, oh. I believe they serve beer there. So, to be fair, from what I've seen with the Pirates, you're probably going to need more beer there. To hey, go. stifle there. All right. Let's keep yeah. those thoughts to yourself, Ron Mike. Right? Mm, and that's a different <laughs> podcast. We'll let you guys go at it somewhere else on Sorgatron Media. Uh, anyways, uh, I know somebody out there pitched me a podcast with... Uh, a wrestler in fucking baseball. I, we, we need to return that idea. I'm pretty sure that was there. Mark Man. No, it was not. It was actually not Mark Man. <laughs> oh, okay. But I can say it's Mark Man adjacent. Okay. Uh, anyways. <laughs> uh, I know who it is. Because every pitch continues with, and we could have Mark Man on. Hey, well, hey why not, right? Yeah. Uh, I actually, I actually sent a message trying to spin up the political mayhem show again. Oh, uh, nice. oh, that was earlier tonight. That was, <laughs> that was earlier tonight. Uh, but anyways, that's not what this commercial is. Thank you to our friends at Slice on Broadway. <laughs> if you want to help the global expansion of Slice on Broadway, once again, wherever you may be, find a Broadway Avenue in your hometown. Most of you have one. Take a picture, hit up on their social media, PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter or their Instagram or their Facebook. Uh, just look up Slice on Broadway and tell them that you want a slice on your Broadway, wherever you are in the <laughs> congruent, congruent, contiguous, contiguous. I was right. Contiguous United States. Yeah. Sorg, I forgot to tell you, when I was walking around New York City, um, I found a pizza place called Slice. No, well, was, no, yeah. they, there is another like slice. There's like a place. There's something. What was it on Broadway? There is another place called. It slice. was not on Broadway. It but was. Well, then who cares? No, we that's not. Then we don't care. They didn't pay us for this commercial I'm, with fine uh, pepperoni pizza, so I don't saying, care. I just, I'm just saying you didn't look as good as slice on Broadway. Wait, wait, are you it's telling a, me there's a imposta. fake slice? There's. <laughs> Thank you so much. Check out SliceOnBroadway.com. We'll be back after we... Kill Bobby. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, we'll be back. 
Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. We are back. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. And uh, we're back to Mayhem, we, Mayhem Mania is over. Not Mainst- a week too soon. I don't know if you could tell, but my voice is just about mainstream mad. Is, outs right now. Just looks like I don't know. I don't know if this is from Mayhem Mania or Opening Day. Six of one, half dozen of the other. Yeah, you know. Uh, I, I want to thank everyone for your cards and letters about my hair last week. It <laughs> really meant a lot to me. It was good. This is a safe place where it's, you tell me go get a haircut. So it's good. it's good. I feel a lot better now. It's good. Get a haircut, you hippie. Well, yeah. I did. I'm so it's all good I now. thought I told you to trim the sideburns, Manningly. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the Mayhem Mania is a is is at a close. It's done. There was some final uh, pulls. Mistakes yep. were made. There were a couple. There were a couple <laughs> things that needed to be sorted out. We yes. had to uh, determine the. Um, some more feel- we had to decide the host some, of Mayhem Mania. Some more feelings were apparently hurt. I mean, yeah. We, well, I'm gonna have to go off the top of my head here, Sorgi, but it, it's okay. I, I have everything memorized anyway. But I mean, the point is that. All right, so we, Chris, I, I'm sure you were watching last week, but just in case for people out there who weren't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we, we had everyone, we, we had some of the Patreons nominate a host of Mayhem Mania. Okay. Um, and I believe it was um, our friend Heel Bradley who said it would be great fun to nominate Chest Flexor oh, to be the boy. host yes. of yes. Mayhem Mania. I endorse this. And, um, and of course, we determined the, uh, the final, who would, who would win based on a, an online vote on the Wrestling Bullshit. Mayhem show. A Facebook me. group, but we did not anticipate that Chess Flexor would mobilize all of the STDs on Facebook, and so they won in a in, in a walk uh, this Bullshit. online vote, and so now Chess Flexor is the host of Mayhem Mania. Um, somewhere, help pass him. McZombie is looking for a nice promotional pickup. Well, we pass we pass him along. A, yeah, him and a tiger. Yeah. So it'll involve tigers. I don't know. Maybe the, the the tiger will be of uh, mayhem mania. Yeah, but that's cool. We could do oh, that. Oh God, people are gonna die. Uh, we also had to uh, take the. Uh, we, we also had you know of the eight cards that were still left on our undercard. We were gonna let you know everyone vote which one would um, get to join the other eight that made the super card and would get to be on the mayhem mania pre-show. And um, after that vote was done, it was a pretty. Uh, Pretty square vote, and it yeah. ended up being a uh, Walter versus Samoa Joe would, first blood would, match. That so would, that would be what I would good. vote for. Yeah, that'd be a fine match. We'd all look forward to that. So, it wouldn't last long. No, I think that they could go. I, I, I believe they could go. I'm just saying that think. blood would be sold very That's quickly. I feel, um, but um, they would just continue. Igno- <laughs> no one acknowledges first blood. Well. How about second? How about third blood match? Third blood <laughs> match. <laughs> So we can give the fans their money. I bled worth. three times. Two out of three blood match. So two out of three vials. <laughs> so that that leaves us with uh, Mayhem Mania, uh, which will involve Walter versus Moa Joe first blood match. Mm-hmm. And I can pull up the card here uh, from your post the other day if you want to. Uh, <coughs> yes, we, yes. We can, me, we me, can me, me. Pull through it. Can, okay. you, can you see the monitor to my to my to your left? Oh, I believe I can. I could also. Go scrambling for my phone. Also, that works too. That want. works too. But yeah. um, I mean, we yeah. have to show off the graphic work of our friend at the Wrestling Revolution. Yeah, and we also have to, you know, just see what yeah. everyone thinks about this. Wait, the this one graphic works. that Garza made just makes me <laughs> so happy. <laughs> it's my favorite thing in professional wrestling. So we do have. Uh, hey, 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 it's not our fault that this match got booked. It's WWE's match for making us want this match. So. Um, anyway, so the so the uh, matches on the super card are um, first of all, we're gonna have WLC match. Uh, with Elias versus Velveteen Dream. Last time ever. Yeah. And, Last um, time ever. We also- that's followed by uh, a tornado tag match uh, pitting the Triconics, apparently. Zelina Vega, Billy Kay, and Peyton Royce versus the Tri Pirates, Asuka, Io Shirai, Kairi Sane. Um, oh, by the way, I'll mention that Bobby F. J. Town created that match. And also, um, Sorgatron created the um, Elias versus the Dream. Uh, but Elias the WLC do? was not his idea. No. No. Um, Next up, we would have uh, this match created by Dave Podner. Um, this is very nice. Bianca Belair and Montez Ford versus Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae versus Ray Rowe and Sarah Logan versus Killian Dane 
and Nikki Cross picking up on a pattern. Special guest referee Snitsky. What? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Uh, you know, I didn't it wasn't ask. his fault. Just because right. no matter who loses, <laughs> it wasn't his fault. Moving uh, on. Moving on. <laughs> Next up, we have uh, Becky Lynch versus Mia Yim. Okay. That I was can... created by uh, Tina Keys. That was a nice one. That'd be pretty badass. Uh, here we go. Dean's farewell match. Dean Ambrose versus Pete Dune. Uh, no holds Ooh, barred. Okay, I could get with uh, that. Created by Kyle Turner. That was a nice one. Uh, this one's interesting. Only the winner keeps his hair. Four way. Um, created by Sorgatron. Leo Rush versus Kofi Kingston versus Just Ali versus DJZ. Um, the hair remember. stip was not Sorg's idea, but we like it. By the it. way, um, DJZ does not have the hairstyle in that picture right can now. I, can I just say one thing? And this <laughs> this might take us down a rabbit hole, so you can pull the you you can you can pull the pin on it anytime you want. What is DJ Z's name going to be at NXT? Oh my god, I've been wondering that. I th- is he going to be a DJ? Is he going to do something completely different? I think he's going to be DJ Z. You think he's going to be DJ? De- uh, well, you know what? They, they've let a lot of guys keep their names. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not I unheard think he's of. He's got enough name recognition. Now he's going to be they let, EC, they let EC3 keep EC3 when he yeah. was supposedly named after Impact's uh, owner. Yeah. He was the nephew of Impact's yeah. owner, so I guess. And you know, I like how they haven't acknowledged it at all. No. What does EC3 stand for? Just don't talk. Yeah. Moving on. Keep the name. Lose the backstory. <laughs> um, all right. Um, okay. And next up, we have another a hair versus hair match. Yes. Vince McMahon versus George Mazanin. Uh, that was created by Mad Mike. You're uh, welcome. And again, don't world. blame us for making it. Blame WWE at, for making us want it. So, look at that graphic, though. Look at this. Look at that graphic. Yeah, that's the greatest thing you'll ever see in your life. And if you're on a podcast audio version, go to wrestlingmayhemshow.com and check out the the last uh, Mayhem Mania. If you're post. on the audio feed, just imagine the greatest graphic involving those two men, those two stalwarts of the industry, and then imagine it being better of the sandwich making industry or of the. I'm the not saying which industry. I'm okay. just saying. The industry. Two giants of industry. How did Liddy the on. Lion make a match? Lid- you, <laughs> you weren't watching? You weren't here for that? You, that, that, that Liddy that the Lion created a match. It was a damn good one. AJ Styles versus Finn Balor. And then now the stipulation added. The winner gets custody of the good brothers. Oh, the club's coming back. High stakes. Yep. And finally, and, uh, finally in addition to uh, Walter versus Samoa Joe featured on the Mayhem Mania <laughs> pre-show will be the first ever, first annual Mayhem Cluster Battle Rumble. And uh, last week, I think I've wrestled at a match like this. <laughs> and um, we invited everyone to um, nominate a surprise entrant for the Mayhem Cluster Battle Rumble. Here's Wait, the list. Hold, hold on. Hold on. One, two, three. I think it was about 16. There's people. 15. 15 no, no. I'm, 15 I'm, I'm going people who I've, I've worked or shows. <laughs> okay. yeah, well, I'll read the add, list. You keep, you, you keep adding. I'll, I'll hey, read just, off the list just, real quick. Just say check next to the ones that you've worked. Yeah, here, let's uh, let's run down the list for the audio listeners. Yes, uh, here are your surprise entrants: Bob Backlund, uh, Pete Dune, Dunn, uh, King Maxwell. Who's Have you five. ever worked King Maxwell? I uh, know he's five. Um, chest flexor. Check. Glacier. Check. Johnny Saint. Damn it. Hulk Hogan. With his assistant. Kurt Hawkins. Uh, Jushin Thunder Liger. Velveteen Dream. I I I I think I had a tryout match, but he wasn't Velveteen Dream at the time. Mm. He was still counts. Yes. So it was so. pre-dream. Uh, well, oh, pre-dream. Oh, I don't. I th- yeah. Whoa. Way past that. It was, it was a Ring of Honor tryout. Pre-dream. Rem State. Mike Quackenbush. We, never wrestled him. Would love to though. That's. A, I'm surprised you haven't ever yeah. crossed paths. Uh, the Hurricane. Okay, I was I was in the 16 bit match with him, so I guess that technically I'm. I yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. So technically. Technically. Count technically. That. Uh, did I say the hurricane? Yes. Yes. The hurricane. Bull Nakano. No. No. <laughs> uh, Eric Bugenhagen. Uh, yet. Adam Bomb. No. But you'd like to. Uh, did, wasn't it just the anniversary of Three Mile Island <laughs> just recently or something like yeah. that? Yeah. That is why why he's from Harrisburg, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's right. You know, AJ just told us that last week, and I just accepted. Adam Bomb was billed from Harrisburg. Is that a real thing? No, he I, was billed from Three Mile Island. He was billed yeah. from Three yeah. Mile Island. <laughs> but I think he was from Harrisburg because I remember like Norm used mm-hmm. him a lot in, mm-hmm. the, in the 90s. So I, I presumed he was rather local. So anyways, uh, Mayhem Mania. Oh, my God. 
much. Uh, it, it, it's amazing. Um, uh, thank you, everybody. Again, there's a little bit of a, uh, the Fallout Talking Mayhem Mania we posted from Patreon in the bank. And um, and uh, it's uh, basically just 10 people in the in the Google chat just yelling at each other. Right. And Matt's going to. Because their feelings are hurt. And Matt's going to recover until next year. Yeah. I'll be going away. Um, well, this will, this will be, you know, kind of to paraphrase our question later. Um, Matt, what did you learn from Mayhem Mania this year? I learned that. All right. Well, here's what I learned. Where's Alex Cars? Is Alex Cars around? He's in the chat room. Listen, he I learned an important lesson about Alex. All right. There's a, there, there are people who are just making matches and there are people who are playing the game, but sometimes you can overplay the game. And mm-hmm. Alex overplayed the game. All right, he's, he's, he's made he a tried to him. tried to play mm-hmm. this uh, this this game of human chess. This this game of being a master manipulator. All right, so and uh, it it backfired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you picked up on it anyway. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, he, he he overplayed the game and it backfired on him. He ended up making more moves than anybody else. But really, what did he end up with? With, he didn't end up with anything, so I, I you know, he Alex, ended up with a powerful enemy. He Matt ended Carlin. up with a powerful, powerful <laughs> enemy. So, uh, you know what? Alex is a very smart boy. He's going to, uh, I'm sure he's going to take this. He's going to go back, go back to the workshop, come up with a new strategy for next year. He's going to come back even stronger. Back to the lab. I don't think we'll ever see the WLC match again, but um, oh, you know, we no, had some fun. We will not. It's the Eliminators' first thing next year. <laughs> it's going to be nasty. Um, but uh, you know, I, I think um, you, you know, like I said, this is the fifth year that we've done Mayhem Mania, so we've got a lot of raw data now, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. we've learned that there are some there are some there's serious some, trends, some trends going on, we, and we have charts and graphs, some surprising charts trends and graphs. That are going. So and five, all, well, this is four years; we don't have the the year five in, input. Not everything yet. has been tabulated. The no. interns are still working on it, but um, interns. Yeah, interns. You mean the producer? They work for free uh, oh, yeah. for pizza. Yeah, that's um, true. Oh, um, God, this reminds me of my other job. Get that off the screen. <laughs> <laughs> so we got these spreadsheets. Put that Put that uh, away. Let's see. So, so for instance, total Mayhem Mania appearances. Now, that, this is interesting because um, you get into this, and then we kind of want to see, did they get used in year five of Mayhem Mania? All yeah, these yeah. guys who have been been used in four. So maybe you want to. You want to? Oh, 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 so we're talking total yeah, appearances. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm on the total, total appearances. People who have been used in matches, right? Yeah, and number one, Brock Lesnar, at least coming into this he year, was right? Eliminated this year. Yeah. To be fair, someone has to make him work. That's right. <laughs> and, follow- and and believe it or not, Brock Lesnar actually got used once, made it into made it into a match at the end of at least one round this year during Mayhem yep. Mania. So he's gonna yep. add to that total. So who's in second place? Uh, AJ Styles. Well, AJ Styles. Had five weeks of being in a match in Mayhem Mania this year, and so then, was that enough to catch him? And Dean Ambrose, and then Dean. Well, Dean. Dean had a Dean great got year. Used a lot this year. Dean got used a lot because there's a lot of nostalgia for his farewell match. Well, he actually got into four matches this year, so that's a little less than I thought. And then John Cena. Good. Uh, John Cena. I don't think got a sniff. I no, he did get in once. He did get one, and then he got yeah. himself eliminated. And then we have that split down to male and female competitors as well. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, annual Mayhem Mania recurring appearances ranking. He, okay. these are the guys who've been used like every year, right? Okay. They've made it in. Have the, made uh, it in every year. Yeah, uh, up until like at least up until this year. So I, I'm going to give you your top four because it looks like they're so they've. These been are used all the guys who've been in there for, all, all four, four of year. the first four years. So let's see if they've made uh, it in this year. Bo Dallas. He did not make it this year. Charlotte Flair. Uh, oh, well, she did. She snuck yeah. in before she got eliminated. Finn Balor, he definitely got hated in yep. Rusev. Oh, let me check. I don't oh, think wait. we used Rusev this Ooh, year. Man, that was a rough. Wow. La- I mean, last Rusev year Rusev did a not god. make it this year. Rusev did not get used. Wow, one match this year. That's, That's crazy. That's it was sad, Rusev yeah. Day last year. Yeah, it's always we said had the, the calendar. Stream. Yeah, he even said Rusev Day is dead now, which That's infinitely sad. sad. Um, and of course there is McMahon family rankings in Mayhem Mania. <laughs> oh, Vince is going to add to that. I thought that was going to make a louder noise. I just hit the but, mic uh, off my forehead off in frustration. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that would have made a louder thunk. Yeah. It, you know, it wasn't a big year for the McMahon. <laughs> there, there it is. Go. Oh, I wish I was on camera for that one. Uh, there was no Shane O'Mac. Shane no. O'Mac didn't get used once. Stephanie didn't Good. get u- used once. Good. Triple H only one time. And then Vince came in there at the very end. 
But mm. up until the last, up until Patreon in the bank, no one had spoken Vince's name yet. It was only until we found the right opponent for Vince that we decided to make a match. Which, let's be honest, that's going to steal the show. I'm like sorry, I said, man. I almost eliminated I'm, I'm looking through some of the names from uh, non-wrestler rankings and Mayhem Mania appearances. Oh, this, this is... um, Baby Monroe. Mm-hmm. Baby Wolfgang. Yeah. Brain Strowman. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's kind of a... Fudge that a little bit. Sno- King Maxwell. King Maxwell's going to add to his total. Uh, He's going to be up to two. Snooky. Snooky's not coming back Who ever again. It? Somebody... Uh, I'll get to the Snooky moment in a moment, but also the sea creature from... Uh, from, that um, was technically South, Rusev. Though. Southpaw. Re- re- yeah. No, that wasn't. No, it was it not Rusev. C- Rusev was no, Big Rusev Barth- versus yes. the Seymour. No, no, somebody- Rusev was Big Bartholomew. Somebody, right. yeah. somebody recently said to me, maybe this was well, a, maybe this was somebody drunk at, at, at in Erie. Uh, um, <laughs> that might have been me. It might have been you. Like somebody <laughs> like realizing that Snooki had a better wrestling career than they had. Oh, don't be so hard on okay, yourself. That wasn't me. It's like somebody said that to me in recent <laughs> it weeks. Wasn't me then. And Snooki just like undefeated at WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah, but then again, so was Michael Cole. Yeah, so Stephen Amell also not a bad wrestling career. Uh, we have some more breakdowns for Charlotte. I'm Fire waiting. Or... They just they canceled Arrow. I'm waiting for AEW to sign him. Is it canceled or just it's it's just done? Well, it's done. It's yeah, done. They, but they've done they've done six or seven seasons. So I'm waiting for AEW. It, to it's sign it's him. It's come to term. Anyways, um, so like we, a birth. Do you, do you have some of the year to year for certain individuals here? Do you want some that, of that? Do, do any of these intrigue you? Are you intrigued um, by any nothing of these? was sticking out so far? But I'm sure um, when you get your article together, it'll uh, pull some. Once the things. interns get there, done, once the interns get done, see how this looks. Where are these um, interns? Are they? If you, they're, they're in working the in the basement. Yeah, they're working. They're locked in the, yeah, in the basement. Yeah, in the basement. Um. Yes, there any By the way, Sorg, you need to sprinkle down the food pellets before you leave today. Oh, thanks for the reminder. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're downstairs with the paper boxes and the police uniforms. Uh, anyways, um, boom. I want to give a shout out to our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling. Um, hey, April is National Autism Awareness Month, and Occupy Pro Wrestling uh, is looking to support a great cause. Uh, they're always good about uh, uh, doing these pushes there over on their store. When you buy OPW merchandise at whatamaneuver.net and shop.occupyprowrestling.com in the month of April, 100% of the proceeds go to Asperger Autism Network. Please check out aane.org for more info on the wonderful organization. And uh, we'll hope to see you shopping. Sport some of that awesome merch they have over there. Again, very, uh, very, if you like the 90s, uh, especially Nickelodeon Friends, kind of gear um check out smarko's modern life legends of the lucha temple as featured on lucha underground and uh the smart friend style uh baseball cap as well of course good lego stuff over there occupy pro wrestling our friends out there in the west gonna visit you guys very soon this week uh go check them out occupy pro wrestling.com all right so um this is sort of a mini return of the big question um we had a question that we brought up last night, um, Mad Mike, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, help me with the phrasing on this. It was, oh, what is your dark horse moment of WrestleMania? I believe um, you you had one like like you know we we were calling um, like the Iconics winning the NXT Women's Title. Yes, yeah. no, as, not NXT WWE. I'm sorry. <laughs> WWE thinking, Women's Tag Team. It Champions. feels like an NXT title to me, really. Um, but anyways, wow! And by the way, shout out to uh, Stephen from New Zealand joining us in the chat room this evening. Or Good day. Morning. No, uh, don't, don't wrong, do that. Wrong, no, wrong, no, wrong. No, no. no. It's I'm okay playing. if he listens. He knows my sense of humor is terrible. <laughs> you might be discovering it. Uh, anyways, oh. yeah, yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, good day. Um, I said good day. <laughs> I said good day. <laughs> Very English way to so, say that. So, so, the, so my problem was I threw in the apostrophe. <laughs> Got it. Good day, good day, sir. Good day, because good day to is... you. Anyways, so going around the horn, what is your dark horse thing you want to happen? Ooh, ooh, a victory, ooh. an appearance, a moment at WrestleMania this year. Who's I, I believe Bobby was Bobby's got one. Bobby. 
Kurt Kurt Hawkins. Kurt Hawkins. Zack Ryder. Yes. Finally getting their WrestleMania moment and winning a match. Yes. Hopefully for the tag titles, maybe in a disqualification. Major Brothers Mania. I'd be, I'd be, that'd be awesome. I got, I can do one better for that. Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder have the match won. Dead to rights. Hawkins turns on Ryder because he cannot accept a victory. <laughs> he refuses. Because he, he would be lose his identity match. if he won a match. I cannot. That's not my right final answer, though. <laughs> Just the I'll, I'll, I'll tell Jesus. you. I'll, it's like, I'll, I don't know what to do. <laughs> in carrying on a tradition that's been going on a couple years, either Hacksaw Jim Duggan, uh, Sting, Hurricane, <laughs> or Hardcore Holly ending up in the Battle Royal. Uh-huh. <laughs> and thereby carrying on a tradition that somebody at Night of the Superstars was at WrestleMania for the past couple years. So Yeah, uh, well, we had Mark Henry was at uh, Hall of Fame. Yep. Uh, the Hardy Boys famously coming out and returning a week before. That's and a, showing that up. Is, that is an insane story. Uh, I, I, That's uh, absurd. Showing up in IWC with the Raw Tag Team titles. Mm-hmm. There's a video. Look it up on the YouTube. Uh, it's pretty fantastic also features uh the- and then tatanka the year before that all right he was in the battle royal. he was in the battle royal that's why that that's what started it tatanka yeah. was at wrestlemania and then he came to wrestle me which might be the <laughs> biggest single drop <laughs> of any of anybody in what, a seven day period yeah yeah from that to what am i doing with my life here in meville uh <laughs> that's, the, that's the name of dombrowski's book <laughs> that's true i think there's a section on his website actually um anyways wow. <laughs> it is yeah what am i doing with my life here in meadville so, no, no not what, that part <laughs> uh what happened to my life what, what happened, happened to my, my life? life here in meadville yes. uh what was your pick you had uh, your hand. My, my my pick is the rock interrupts elias's concert mm-hmm. okay. oh, yeah. i could see that okay all right it has to happen all right uh chris do you have one I, like I said, just I, I have a feeling a, a big. Oh, return. That just that. Yeah. yeah, the big return at the. Uh, well, at the Battle well Royal. Hurricane is a. He's currently employee. employee. Yes, he's. I a, don't think it's much to put him in that Battle Royal. No, yeah, there you go. So hey, suit up, suit up, yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> suit up, and make sure you still agent for your three matches later in the. Oh week. yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> cause... Don't let a don't let the pancake hit you in the face. That's right. <laughs> uh, man, I. Kind of wish I went the wheel. <laughs> the wasn't, I didn't even know it happened until no. after the show. So. <laughs> you, you almost got a Rollins in your lap. I mean, Jen almost got a Rollins in her lap. I fled like a little girl. Yeah, there's, so a, there's a picture. I grabbed the kid and ran. There's a picture of uh, Seth Rollins over the barricade, hanging over it, and just like Jen saying, "I had a conversation with Seth Rollins." It's like, what is it with her and live events where she has to be like in front of people and blocking views? We were, you know, it, we weren't in front of everybody. That's where our seats were. Okay, but she's like uh, getting over the rail to talk to Seth Rollins. <laughs> no, he like, came no, no, over, he the rail came over the rail. Oh, oh okay. okay. Well, no, no, no. He is <laughs> hanging over the rail. Pardon, it, pardon me. Like, so, so here's like, what. So you here's see what happens. You so, see it, his back upside yeah. down. I'll see so, so, in my, so there were there two instances of wrestlers being chucked at our guardrail <laughs> directly at us. First, it was earlier in the show. Lashley chucks Finn Balor at our guardrail, and he comes in like kind of like you know three quarter speed. You know, he crashes into the guardrail again. I grab my child. I run. Jen, she stands there with like arms outstretched, like, come, let's go, you know, and he crashes and he falls over. Very close call. So later in the show, and I could only assume that that Finn told Seth, hey, if you if you chuck yourself into this guardrail, the, 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 the lady will stay there, but the guy and his kid will flee like, you know, like <laughs> cowards. Oh, great. I got to see how that goes. So so Seth comes in like 110 percent speed and he doesn't even stop at the guardrail. He just goes ass over tea kettle until he ends up like that. Are you seeing this, Chris? You got to look at this other monitor. That is how it ends up right there. Okay. Your wife got that photo. Wife got that photo. Okay. Now I, now I, and my son, we we have fled. You're okay. In, you're in section eight hundred three by now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But my wife again is standing there like this. You know, yeah, we're, we're, we're. and well, and I mean, apparently she's while all out, for take home, take home your second favorite member of the shield. Man. So so while <laughs> so while Seth is hanging there, ass over tea kettle, she decides to like lean down and be like, Seth. I'm a nurse. Are you okay? <laughs> wow. And Seth, of course, being the pro, says, no, I'm not okay. <laughs> and then went back in and proceeded to get beat up some more. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. 
I'm so, a nurse. Great times. Okay? Wheeling, West Virginia, the best WWE <laughs> that, that's house one show. That's one closer to you. Do you need mouth to mouth resuscitation? <laughs> it was the WrestleMania of West Don't Virginia. Don't slander his wife while he's sitting there. No. Oh. She'll find him. Don't worry. <laughs> There's a laminated list somewhere. Uh, Mad Mike, do you have another? Uh, I have several. <laughs> of course you do. You're just going to rebook the entire WrestleMania. Um, I want a moment between Eric Young and Abyss in the Battle Royal. You know what? I didn't oh, even. I, th- I didn't even there. think. I didn't even think of the little inside moments where either indie opponents, impact opponents. Um, you know, yeah. There's a lot of opportunities for some uh, Easter eggs. Related mm-hmm. note. Um, you, you know what? I, I want what, a related note. Okay. Oh, before you get to that, related note. Okay. You know what screwed me up when I'm listening to Big E's rendition of Scott Steiner's math <laughs> promo, <laughs> and he's talking about Samoa Joe and Kurt Angle, and I thought he just updated the names. Uh-huh. No, Scott, Scott Steiner, Steiner, was, Steiner was facing <laughs> Samoa Joe and Kurt Angle. Well, I mean, who did, are now on WrestleMania? Did you see that Joe headbutted Kurt to open their match? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, that was oh great no, I didn't, I didn't get to see that yeah. match. He, That's great. Yeah, when he they, opens when they with a headbutt. Match, Joe yeah, they were they were it was great. It, yeah, they're having the stare down face to face. I was like, headbutt, headbutt, headbutt. Yes. That Beautiful. was uh hands down, I, I probably my favorite TNA feud was mm-hmm. of all time was Kurt Angle and Samoa Joe. Mm-hmm. Like it was the most hyped thing I think they did in their what 15, 20 year history. Mm-hmm. So like okay. it's gotta be. I, I'm sorry, Mike. Back to you. No, no, no. It's fine. Um, I want to see Cyril Del Rey in that um women's battle royal. That'd be yes, cool. please. I want to see that. Um, I I want to see the cruiserweight title match be on the main show. That'd be cool. It'd it's be nice. Probably not gonna happen. It'd be nice. <laughs> it's not going to happen. You've heard my you, would, you you've heard my be... my philosophy of better to put it on free TV to sell the network, and I feel like that's going to go. And and I feel like that is incredibly wrong, mm-hmm. um, because they deserve to be on the main. Yeah, show. they do deserve to be on the main show. Oh, they deserve absolutely. to be on the main. Oh show. no, I I am not disagreeing with that. And um, my my final dark horse, it's not John Cena that interrupts Elias. Mm-hmm. It's not the Undertaker. Mm-hmm. It is Hall of Fame inductee, the Hunky Dunk Man. Didn't they do that that's already, too though? obvious. Nope. That's nope. too no, no, obvious. Jared, no, Jared, they Jared. have not done that. Jared interrupted. You're confusing oh, him man. with Jeff Jarrett. Yeah, okay. that's true. Yeah. That's true. Mm. Mm. Um, Basically, I just want to see Elias crack a guitar over a hunky dunk. Secondary. Hey, I don't know. Guitar shots are no are no fun. <laughs> And, I am, and, I am, and Chris I am, I am anti-guitar shot. Elias typically plays the guitar before hitting somebody with it. Certainly. Yes. Uh, no. No. Um, no. If if you watch Elias's segments very carefully, those are the ones when, he doesn't. When he's playing a guitar, yes, he never hits anyone with it. Okay. If he if he ends up not playing a guitar and gets like distracted by the crowd or something, someone's getting that's hit. usually when he hits someone. Mm. He has two guitars. Mike, don't ruin the magic. Oh, I'm I sorry. Has, I think he has more. <laughs> uh, I, I do. I'm sorry. It's true. Slide of hand. Yeah. yeah. Jeez, thanks. like there was thanks, even Mike. there was even one time where he did a duet with Kalisto, and Elias went to grab the other guitar to do a duet, and he cracked Kalisto with that one. Mm. Um, side note, uh, one uh, Elias and Finn Balor, um, uh, Star is Born rendition. Please go watch that video. Uh, oh, third, yeah, third, 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 all. Uh, also great if uh, he was interrupted by DJ Z. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, but that's for us. Uh, so uh, that's, that's all I got. Um, no, I, other than that, I, I was thinking through the night. Um, Any big returns? Big returns? Well, that's for the next night, to me. I mean, big uh, other than like The Rock coming out or Taker coming out or yeah, something. Those, I, CM I, Punk. I, I do. Have yeah, one CM more. Punk. Why? Not? I do have one more. I want to throw this out there in the ether before. Put I it forget. in the world. It's the secret. Um, I want. Shayna and her friends, yeah, to attack during the triple threat match. Four horsewomen, and I want Bailey and Sasha to make the <clears> save. <throat> that might happen. I could see that. Nice Doesn't moment. seem so far fetched. No. Seems like they could piece that together in like a backstage. There. Just set it up in the backstage. Everybody's Who there. They are, and then they Absolutely. Show up it's like Smash Brothers. Everyone is here. Yeah, sure. Yes. 
All uh, the stars are here waiting for you. <laughs> Couldn't have a show without you. Wow. Uh, well, we have had a lot of fun with our a little fantasy experiment, thought experiment yeah. with uh, Mayhem Mania. And uh, what better thing to introduce this week to the show? Uh, uh, you guys, a new podcast on Sorgatron Media, uh, uh, the Bardic Mystery Tour. Uh, this is a wonderful podcast. Uh, of course, we're a bunch of... Uh, wait, why is this talking about tech on the copy? Hey, we're a bunch of nerds talking about wrestling <coughs> week to week. Uh, so what could be nerdier and geekier than... Hey, we, we need to rewrite this copy. Uh, <laughs> hey, you know what's cool? Dungeons and Dragons. Better yet, how about a D&D podcast? That's right. Our friends at the Bardic Mystery uh, Tour regale the crowd with tales of a rock band of bards on tour. They kick in doors and solve mysteries... And as an added bonus, they write original songs. Please go check them out. Subscribe to them on bardicmysterytour.com. Uh, it's an awesome podcast. I was uh, listening through uh, one of their sessions, uh, uh, several episodes of a session here. And they're split up, so you can jump into one. And it's, it's pretty easy to, to hop in. But, um, and uh, it was a, it was a, it's what kept me up in my return from Dayton. Uh, when I was working uh, with Impact Wrestling Rockstar last month. And uh, a really good, fun podcast, uh, now part of the Sorgatron Media Network. I will say this, podcasts like this, I haven't, I haven't heard mm. this, but podcasts like this have probably saved my life on road trips. I know. Where just like, I am, like, I can see that my vision is closing in and mm. my brain just going, just turn off. Go ahead, run the car off the road and die. <laughs> like, you're so tired. Especially across middle Ohio. Middle Ohio, well, the worst for me is the turnpike from philly to mm -hmm. pittsburgh because mm -hmm. it's just get on the turnpike and drive and keep driving and drive and drive and drive and drive some more mm -hmm. and it's just and and the the rest stops are terrible they don't have any like really good chain meals you know chain fast food or anything like there yeah um but like podcasts like that are, can be the thing that keeps you from just driving off a cliff and ending it and there's plenty of those across the middle of pennsylvania yeah. <laughs> so all right. Well, it is, in the, it is the end of the show, and it's time to find out what did you learn from pro wrestling this week? Who wants to go first? And again, chat room, if you have anything to submit for that question as well, please let us know. Uh, I learned that Johnny Gargano could become the first NXT Triple Crown champion. Ooh, from from not getting a championship for the longest time to that. That's a pretty good bump up this mm -hmm. year. Uh, no, I was ex I was excited when I found out what the main event for TakeOver was. It was him and Adam Cole, baby. Uh, two out of three falls. Two out of three falls. Jeez, that's going to be amazing. Yeah, NXT, again, looks like it could steal the whole weekend. And it feels like it has four matches. So um, good, had, good. They'll, have, they'll all have time. Yeah, and that's what they've been doing lately. That's well, that's what they always do because their pay per views typically run two and a half hours, mm -hmm. and they have five matches. And each each match goes about like twenty twenty five minutes. By the way, a side note to that: I, I again catching up with NXT lately, and I got to the I'm presuming first um, Dijak and Keith Lee oh, match. Oh so yeah, they're not doing oh, that. Oh <laughs> boy, no, no, that's that's an NXT run there. But I mean, so you, good. You got to have something awesome on on NXT itself. So. Yeah. Um, Kyle Turner learned that Ronda Rousey is a sax addict. Yes. Did you see that? What is this? Oh, is this yeah. oh, I'll have to show it to you. Uh, after is this the one show. of our video yeah, blogs? Yeah, it's her with us. Yeah. It was a video after. It was, it's very amusing. Oh, boy. Is it the next meme? No, no. Nothing will uh, replace the first Ronda meme. That's the best one. I, I, I will say that, that unfortunately, yeah. there, I saw a Ronda meme of her and Becky kick fighting in the back of the... Uh, uh, in the back of the squad car. I think that's going to go some dark places. Yeah. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Ty Cross learned that uh, f just four words, Batista could steal the Mania, uh, Raw Mania build. Mm -hmm. it, it it still would have been so amazing if he just grabbed the mic and said, Avengers Endgame April 28th. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mainstream Matt? Uh, I learned that DC police leave a lot to be desired. It's like, well, obviously. Seriously, Hashtag puts, political mayhem show. Anyway. They look like EMTs. It's yeah, fantastic. They just do some Shoddy places. police work. Hey, yeah. you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll just say this. This is a very 
tangential way to get to what I learned this week. I learned don't sleep on Okada to steal the weekend at Russell, oh, uh, WrestleMania geez. weekend no, because like New MSG. Japan's running the garden. I haven't heard anyone mention that yet. Jeez. But mm-hmm. the best wrestler in the world is in town, and he's working the garden that weekend. So keep your eye on that guy. If you're not going to see moments on moments uh, talked about out of that show, I don't know what's going yeah. on. I am. I. I, I think. I think I'm trying out Honor Club to to make mm-hmm. sure I can watch it. I won't watch it live because I'll be, I'll be busy. Unfortunately, it'll be for the plane ride back. I don't know if I can get it that way. I don't know. I don't know how it works over there. Anyways, um, jeez, amazing. Uh, what was it? Uh, uh Jay Lethal first champion in what, like ten years, six, six years to, like that, to yeah. headline the Garden or something? Oh, to headline yeah. the Garden. That's like a it non- was it was something like that. Wait, are you talking about a non WWE uh, wrestler, or uh, maybe it was non WWE? It was a non WWE guy. It was sixty years, but if you're talking, 60. yeah, to to headline a wrestling match at the garden, yeah, yeah, it was some absurd like uh, uh, absurd number, yeah. Jeez. Well, I mean, Vince's dad owned the garden. Oh was yeah, it was a lockdown, and I mean, territory. Yeah, I I think I think this is a um, I think this is a little bit of a shot of like, hey. Something is happening here, you know. If they can pull this off, because there were no all ins, there were no garden shows. If this is successful, presumably, which I, is it sold out officially yet? Oh yeah, it's, yeah, it's been sold out. Oh yeah, it's been sold out. So it's like yeah. legit sold out. So I mean, that is that's significant, you know. And I mean, nobody's doing it to scale of WWE, no. But I mean, not yet. Maybe you know that that the philosophies of more special shows like like New Japan does, maybe that's gonna uh, uh, come through and people. Are I'm gonna... excited for John Oliver's wrestling promotion. <laughs> John... <laughs> we didn't even get into we that. We didn't get yeah. into that, but that's a whole other thing. Um, <laughs> geez, I was, yeah, I was pulling up the card to see. Uh, I, I think we should wait until his show Sunday because WWE has contacted him. So yeah, there, there might be well, some some. He has a show to do Sunday, so I don't think he's going to be at WrestleMania. I guess it's in the, in town, but still. Um. Anyways, what the hell else? Who 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 have not we not? Done I, I learned two things. Okay, Bobby. Um, I forget who said it originally. It might have been Brandon Straub, but if it's not, I apologize. But uh, Lacey Evans uh, does work better if you think she's a ghost from like the 1920s that just has unfinished <laughs> business. It just wanders about. Uh, it goes with um, entrance music and a Titan and, Tron. And, and none of the ladies in the NXT main event can, and they because they have criminal records now, none of them can be in the XFL. Um, Considering the AAF didn't make a full season, there may yeah. not be an <laughs> True, true. That too. Uh, you got your two. Uh, Chris, what did you learn? Um, I learned that uh, wrestling as a whole is healthy and getting healthier. Um, between a lot of the independent shows I've been uh, the past month, the show I was at this past weekend in Spencer, West Virginia. Um, and like, uh, as I'm driving through Spencer, and it, it, like no cell service, winding roads, mm-hmm. you know, where you're like, oh God, the hills have eyes, and you 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 think, and then the place is packed with great fans who are like, it's kind of like, where did these people come from? Kind of, you know. Well, That's I, every time I, I go to. All right, to be fair, to be fair, once I got to Sp- Spencer, was like an actual town. Mm-hmm. It was driving through there that it, that it, it freaked me out a little bit, but um, wait till you come to Johnstown. Oh, I've been there many a time, <laughs> but like it seems everywhere crowds are up it seems everywhere interest is up it seems everywhere that um you know we're we're, we're breaking records that were you know and, and it's not just one company or two come it seems like everywhere is doing better i and uh as we go into the the biggest week in professional wrestling um you know i think that it bodes very well for it bodes very well for the future Almost all of those shows on Mania Week, I think, are sold out or close to sold out. Yeah. I mean, maybe like one or two of the absurd ones that are going on at like 1 a.m. Not saying that the company is absurd. I'm saying trying to, you know. There's a lot of breakfast ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and, hey, it's, it's. And I think that. Out. I mean, AIW, I think, just said they're they're close to sold out. Um, you know, I know that Bloodsport thing is close to sold out. Um, and I think it, it just. 
it, 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 it bodes well for the future. Jeez, I'm sorry. I'm just skipping through this uh, massive square garden card. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> um, it better be good. Oh, boy. The bully they Ray. ain't messing around. Bully Ray and Juice Robinson. Uh, Kelly Klein's on the card. Uh, Thornton show. Castle, mm-hmm. in front of the show. Uh, Osprey and Cobb. Shit. See if we can put him in the fourth row. Jeez. Yeah. How, it's, a, it's a how far can we check Osprey match. Um, that's it's incredible. Yeah, I definitely need to watch this. Who's Naito fighting? Who's Tanahashi oh, fighting? Naito? Uh, They're on that card. On Help me out. I'll get you. One I'll of them's you. got a bushy. Um, I think Naito's got a bushy. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, Naito and Ibushi. Uh, and, of course, uh, if you didn't see three-way ladder match, Jay Lethal, Matt Taven, and Marty Skrull. Uh, and, of course, Jay White and Okada. Madison Square Garden. IWC. Jay White, IW, a former IWC Super Indie. Oh, there you go. Yeah. As well. If you look at this, a lot of people that have been through Pittsburgh. Jeff um, Cobb, former Super Indie. Jeff Indie-Cobb Cobb was in Super Indie and, I believe, had a match that Max. No, he didn't come to Madison Square it was like maybe came like a couple yeah, months yeah. later. He had one with Gory, yes. I think, as well. If I recall, um, Kelly Klein just here for Angel Gate, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, so got a lot of lot of Thorn Castle. Um, man, this is incredible to see these guys on such a big stage. So Janela's uh, Spring Break definitely sold out, regardless of the hour. <laughs> is Janela's Spring Break really doing a match between two invisible wrestlers? Is that a thing that's happening? I, I saw Orange I'm, Cassidy's having like a seven out of thirteen falls match, <laughs> <laughs> which you know again, like there's a part of me that you know like knee jerk reaction, what the fucking fuck. Yeah. And then there's another part of me that which that, also can be the title for the next uh, Orange Cassidy yeah. show. <laughs> uh, but then there's another part of me that's like challenged as a performer, like how could I? Have I, you, you know, watched these Invisible Man matches? I mean, I've seen uh, I, I've seen a couple people wrestle the Invisible Man. That used to yeah. be a, that used to be a challenge at at um, at practice. Yeah. That you know, could you have and, a match? And with... Janelle's just turned it into a meme. Oh yeah, like a lot of guys he did it in front of the Juggalos. Uh huh. It I was mean, incredible. Half I, of the people were you've very seen confused. The, you've seen him do this. I've seen him do it at the gathering of the Juggalos. This isn't this isn't an uncommon thing. Like right. you you yeah. can and 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 in wrestling training. Mm-hmm. To sort of as a drill to wrestle the Invisible Man, yeah. Like this isn't this isn't some like old new initiative. He's yeah. just doing it in front of people. They're they're doing wrestling school in front of everyone. Is that yeah. kind of what's happening? Kind of, yeah. But I mean, the idea that you could wrestle yourself, you're so yeah. good, and, and so... I mean, and it's like from the one I saw, like Penelope Ford got involved for a run in and everything, and you know, it, so it's like it's complex. yeah, it's like how much you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, and it's, you know, it's just at three in the morning at the Gathering of the Juggalos. I don't know if everybody gets what's going on. So, <laughs> you think if they just perhaps at the Gathering of the Juggalos, ha- they see the opponent? I mean, is it possible I mean, they see the Invisible Man? I don't, I don't know how many think, shrooms they've had. I don't I think, think yeah, anything. At, I don't think anything at 3 a.m. It doesn't matter what the entertainment is. Anything at 3 a.m. at the Gathering of the Juggalos is going to be met with a, a fair amount of confusion. I, I just love like 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 the guy in the in the in the Bloody Mania night that was like the most covered in blood, insane guy. Happens to be a Sam Adonis' friend that gets introduced to me in the next day. <laughs> so I was like, of course, of course, you know this guy. Uh, but anyways, so um, uh, we have from the chat room. I have to touch on these real quick. Uh, learned uh, Alex Cars learned that Mayhem Mania was a beautiful mess this year. Also, everyone and their mother is going to be in New York for Mania weekend, and I'm going to enjoy a me. local indie show with Sorgatron. Yes, we are. Please l- l- drop in the chat what that that fed is so we can give him a shout out, uh, Alex. Um, do, 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 do. And Joey Ryan is taking thirty dollars for fans to take a pick for having his money maker. Yes, uh, I learned this uh, week that you can go to a wrestling show, be part of a wrestling video, uh, and uh, and uh, enjoy a past blue ribbon. Um, that's <laughs> that is wrestling in Lawrenceville, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, always good going out there. And uh, and bringing uh, Missy and Dutters along for their um, first impressions uh, in person of KSWA, so um, good stuff, good wrestling. It was nice to have a week out, week off of filming wrestling, so uh, so good to have that experience. Um, and uh, what else do we do? Is that it? Do we? Did everybody go? 
Chris, thanks um, for joining. I, I, I also learned one other thing. Okay. If they do add a Raw Tag Team title match, WrestleMania 35 will tie for the most matches at WrestleMania with the one where there was a giant fucking tournament. <laughs> <laughs> WrestleMania 4. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I know, but but it sounds funny to say. A giant fucking tournament. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I thank you for having me, and I'll just get the plugs in real quick. Uh, social media at Crystal Russo on Twitter, at Crystal Russo on Instagram, uh, Facebook uh, <laughs> slash Crystal Russo. Um, upcoming uh, Night of the Superstars, uh, April thirteenth. I'm also. Oh, God damn it! Are you on Black that. Diamond? I'll be at Black Diamond the very next day. Thank you very much. Uh, day before that, however, uh, Battle of Cleveland for RSW, Real Shoot Wrestling, uh, 20th Phoenix Pro. 20th Please don't hurt me. I can't promise anything. Um, <laughs> where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Damn, we need, uh, to, uh, we, we need to give a Chris uh, kicking uh, Bobby in the face. Oh, yeah. Prom- well, I already kicked you. so I can make- How about oh. shut up, Sork? <laughs> I've, got, I've got dates coming up with Premiere. I've got dates coming up with... Uh, Real shoot, IWC, uh, Route Thirty Three, um, Imagine Wrestling in Altoona, um, Revenge up in Erie. Oh God, I'm everywhere. Forget it. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Mainstream Matt on the tweets. Bobby FJ Town and Mad Mike Four Eight Three and producer Missy at Rebellious Flaw. If you have and YouTube slash pop. <laughs> yes. Of course. Thank you, everybody in the chat room, uh, rocking it all night long. Uh, thank you so much for joining us again. Any Mayhemers out in the L.A. area this weekend, uh, let's uh, hit me up. Let me know any good wrestling things or places to watch WrestleMania, especially in northern L.A. around Van Nuys, please. Um, and please, no tricks that turn into a porn shoot, because I think that's what they do there. What? Uh, oh, Van Nuys is like the porn capital. Or what if they that, tell you so. it's a porn shoot to begin with? That's not well, a I mean, trick. That's okay, as long as it's not a trick. Uh, okay. Anyway, we'll see you guys somebody, next if time. Somebody comes in and says, "Oh, the pizza's here." <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Mayhem out. Thirty dollars to touch it. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.